just when you thought it was safe to go in the water at Victoria's Ogden Point Breakwater, a seagull-eating octopus appears. And just when you thought it was safe to take a picture of a seagull-eating octopus, the media appears. The media attention is crazy. Her so photos have quickly become an internet and media sensation. Insanely different. It's been chaos. But Ginger Morneau of Langford, a stay-at-home mom, is ready to give up her 15 minutes of fame. I can honestly say I haven't gotten much sleep lately. It's a little stressful. It all started when her and her family were out for a day of sightseeing. Walking along the breakwater, Ginger spotted a seagull acting rather strangely. And it appeared as though he was pecking some Thing under the water but then when I realized he hadn't lifted his head out of the water in a while it was like that's not normal and then the minute that I acknowledged that it was not normal I started to move closer and that's when we saw the octopus that's when the fight became volatile it was violent it was a really violent struggle seagulls being the scavengers that they are there was an entire flock that came in from overhead so they're overhead screeching and crying out then once the octopus finally killed the seagull um, he just wrapped it up and sunk to the bottom of the ocean and it was like it had never happened and all the seagulls just dissipated but the entire process from start to finish was 53 seconds and in those 53 seconds ginger snapped off four photographs i knew they were unique and i thought they'd be fun so i posted them on facebook friends and family had taken them and forwarded and forwarded and forwarded and I think this morning the last piece of information that I got was that if you Google octopus and bird, my photos are the first thing that come up. It's just become insanity. Who are some of the media companies right. that have contacted you? I have been interviewed by CBC Radio now. I've been interviewed by the Times Colonist, Czech News, with the Canadian Press, with Global BC and yourselves. I've been contacted by Parks Canada who want the naturalists aboard the BC ferries to be able to tell the story. I've been contacted by the Vancouver Aquarium. I've been working with the Sydney Ocean Discovery Centre. Um, it's, it's been really incredible. What I thought was the culmination of all the coverage was being contacted by BBC Wildlife. Later on that day for lunch, you had calamari. We did, in fact, have calamari for lunch. Um, it was not put on the menu or we did not select it because of our experience. Um, it's actually a standard appetizer for us. But uh, at lunch, when the calamari was delivered to the table, it sort of hit all of us who had been there uh, the irony of the situation. And that was when my brother made the comment and uh, toasted and thanked Mr. Octopus for his uh, day of entertainment. But when you're out here now, do you want to see an octopus or not so much? You know, I enjoy the octopus, but if I happen to see another one out here, I don't know that I would take another photo. <laughs> You don't want any more media attention. No, no. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kahn for The Daily.